We recommend deflating the balloon using the valve. However, the balloon may be deflated with a gastric balloon needle catheter, followed by extraction with a large snare or balloon-specific grasping forceps as with other balloons. We recommend the following method. Endoscopy is performed. Follow the white catheter from the balloon until you reach the valve and cap. Capture the loop with a grasping forceps. The endoscope is removed with the cap pulled to the tip of the endoscope. The valve is grabbed by the assistant while the cap is removed. Remove the grasper from the scope. Then, a large snare is inserted into the scope and is tightened around the valve. Next, the extension tube is connected to the valve. The scope with its snare on the valve, together with the extension tube, are lowered into the throat. The stretched inflation tube will pull it down. Let it slide down passively. Do not push. Once the valve reaches the white catheter, connect the extension tube port to the suction and start deflating the balloon. When completed, drain the balloon manually by syringe. Advance the scope below the gastroesophageal junction to confirm complete deflation of the balloon. Open the snare fully. Pull back the extension tube until the valve exits the mouth. This will bring the deflated balloon proximally into the open snare. Tighten the snare on the catheter balloon junction and then pull it back to the scope tip. Hold the scope and stretched inflation tube together in one hand while the snare is maintained at the channel opening with the left hand and pull out together. Keep the inflation tube stretched while withdrawing. Do not let it go until the balloon exits the mouth. Reinsert the scope to inspect for any tissue trauma. The procedure is now complete.